Hey guys, today's video is on uh, Hector's uh, 99V uh, sent to me. He said that uh, it had some issues, but I'm not finding his issue yet. Um, this is just a preliminary checkup. We haven't uh, opened it up, but he says, uh, um, I'm sending you my 99 for you to repair. So now i got to find out what's up for repair because here's receive, which for one, it's way off. 40 over should be at 9 so that's one thing wrong second thing is frequency counter I've got the uh, everything at 12 o'clock we're definitely off other thing is is dead keys way too high for the variable power now I can turn the variable power let me see I'll set the phone down for a second I'm gonna readjust this I should never take these radios above 5 so we're gonna put it at about 3 here's 3 a little over 10, peak side, about 30, so it's not bad, let's fire up the scope, see what she looks like on the scope, and that'll be the true tail, um, let's see if side band works, uh, yeah, side band's plenty, here's the other side band, oh yeah, so we look good there, so let's see what the tone does, Oh, I'm going to receive. Let's turn that one off. There we go. Yeah, that looks really lovely. Flat topping. Negatives look crap. Let me see something. See if we can adjust it out some. Even if, nah, it's still, even to get the rounds at the top, the negatives are straight across. Uh, no curvature at all. So, tells me it's probably got a butched up swing kit. We'll be back with an update when we get in this thing. Go guys. <clears throat> Got into this radio. Of course, it's got a good old swing kit in it. Um, and I said this in videos before, but uh, basically, what they do is they remove uh, R236 or R238, whichever radio it is. And what they do is uh, they tie a diode down in here with with it and gives it all that swing. The other bad thing is I don't know if y'all can really make it out. TR32 missing. So uh, we're gonna fix this right on up. We'll be back with an update, fellas. Back on the 99V. Got everything done. This thing kind of threw me for a little loop. Had this uh, good old swing kit in there. And uh, somebody had changed out one of the pots in it. Once I did my mods to it, it didn't, uh, didn't want to take off right. And I had to go through the schematic and figure out why. And some of it was this. Uh, which is for the variable control for the dead key couple resistors a couple other things are not even up here right now that I had to change out put the limiter back in it uh, did my thing so let's get on with it there's the reference turn the 1k tone on looks a lot better now a lot better right there to the 200% modulation negatives look good I mean you couldn't ask for anything better than that we'll get over here 50 watt slug Let's see where we're at. A three watt dead key. Audio, break, break, break. Audio, hello. Hmm. I'll talk back. Let's see if we can't turn that off. Oh, yeah. 15 RMS. And let's go to peak. Oh, yeah. And there's 50 in the corner. Change this out. Give me a second. Where's my hunter? Right here. Our watch slug. Still PEP. Reading the bottom scale. Oh, yeah. So 5354 out of it. Not bad. Went through, uh, aligned all your frequencies as you see. Oh, don't have the free counter on. So. And this is cold. When it warms up, it'll drop in. Plus, I don't have these dead nuts on 12 o'clock. So, there we go. It's closer to 12 o'clock. So, I went through side bands, um, realigned everything, transmit, received, didn't went through the whole radio. So, it's all good to go now for you, Hector. Um, everything's good. So, we will be giving you a call. There you go, guys. Another one uh, modded up here at the No Name Amp CB Shop. 
Old Stick Man, we'll see you guys. If there's something that you have that you'd like to have done, give me a shout. I'll help you out. I'll see you. Bye-bye. All right, guys, back on this uh, Galaxy 99, I had talked to uh, Hector on the phone. He uh, wanted the switches moved off the lid to the side, so this is where I put them at, um, right here on the side. I only replaced one switch because the other one felt okay, so uh, should be fine there. Uh, fixed up some wires in there, too, from some previous soldering. Um, but uh, I had this lid laying around. You asked me about a lid if I had one that wasn't in such bad shape. This came off of a 959. And uh, kind of a screw up on it over here with a slight, I didn't think you'd mind that because it's on the side. But uh, make sure when you get this to take this uh, protective covering off. It's got a protective covering so you make sure you get that off um, when you get this all hooked up. But uh, I secured the, uh, the toy in it like you requested. And um, I told you I'd already taken care of the freak counter, re-glued it. But uh, there you go. Plus, I also zip-tied it while I had it back off again in the uh, freak counter module. So that way you uh, don't have to worry about it in your big truck. But there you go. We're done, and we'll be giving you a call. We'll see you. Stick me in at the No Name Man CV shop. Bye-bye-bye.